Have you kind of got accustomed to, you know, the players and the coaches here in Starkville? Uh, so far, it's been really good. Um, I've just been adjusting on and off the court. It's something different from coming from Chicago and just the environment and things like that. But overall, it's like everyone here is very helpful. So it's been pretty easy for me. What really stood out about Mississippi State and why you chose to, to come here? I know you had some really good options. What was it about MSU that, that stood out? Um, not only just the coaching staff, but the team. And then the fans here, like on Twitter, they they show a lot of love. So I appreciate that. And that's something that I want to look forward to this season. What do you feel like your role is on, on this year's team? There's so many different types of players filling different roles this year. I mean, what is your role? Uh -huh. Well, I feel like any given night, anyone could go out there and get 15 plus points. So my role really this year is to get the team involved like any way possible, help the team win. Whether it's that night I need to go score or I need to assist a little bit more, rebound, just anything I could possibly do to help the team win that day. Brisha was just talking about, you know, the big expectations y'all have for this season. I guess just how much did that play a role into your decision to transfer your belief that this could be a team that, that could go a long way? Oh uh, yeah, totally. I feel like with the pieces we have, we have a really good team. So everyone has the same mindset. Everyone's locked in and focused. And I think we could really do something special. What was Sam's message to you when he was recruiting you? Uh, overall, Sam was just very truthful with me. And I feel like that's why me and him had such a connection because he didn't sugarcoat anything. He told me what it was that he wanted me to work on, what his expectations would be for me. And it, we just, had a very good understanding of that. So he was just pretty much a very truthful with me and straightforward with me. Coming into the SEC this year, you know, they had a really successful year last year just yeah. as a conference as a whole. What are your expectations this season just going up against that kind of schedule? Uh, I mean, as a player, this is just what you want. You want to play against the best of the best and you want to do that night in and night out. So with this team that we have, I feel like we could really go out there and compete and make noise in the SEC. Did you get a chance to see this team at all last year, see what uh, Sam and, and the coaches were doing last year? Did yeah, you follow him at all? Yeah, I was able to catch a couple games, like against the South Carolina. Uh, I was able to watch them against Creighton and things like that. So once I entered the portal and they were showing a lot of interest, I went home and like watched some more games and just see how they play. And I just seemed like everyone played as a team. And that's something that I'm really like big on, just being unselfish, making an extra pass. And that was just something that caught my attention. Obviously, you didn't know this when you when you committed, but you know, the TV schedule came out a couple days ago, and you get that, this national exposure. You may not have gotten at the Paul. What is that just going to be like for for you? Oh, this is going to be completely different for me, but I love it. Like I'm all with like just being involved with the fans, and but it's it's a good thing for women's basketball too, just to be given that platform, so we can go out there and just show what we're capable of doing. So that's amazing.